Looking for a spring centerpiece idea for the kitchen? Stay tuned. Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. I am so glad you stopped by and decided to share a little of your time with me. Today, I'm going to create a spring DIY for my kitchen countertop. Let's get started. Don't remember where I got this face from. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's probably home goods I got this from. Um, I used it uh, in the winter for a winter centerpiece, but I'm gonna remove all the winter decor and repurpose this for spring. I'm also going to be using some, um, I think I might be using this mirrored uh, contact paper also. Um, I'm not sure yet. I will be using the marble contact paper. I got these on uh, Amazon. I'll link them down below in the description box. Um, if I use the silver contact paper, I'm going to be using them inside these jars here. Uh, these are something that I already had. I got these from Michaels. Uh, I'm going to be using for the base of these jars, I'm going to be using the little champagne cups that I got from, um, I got these from the Dollar Tree. The little champagne cups from the Dollar Tree uh, with the silver on the tips. I'm also going to be using some sand in the bottle, uh, bottom, I'm going to be using sand in the bottom of the champagne cups that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, it gives me that white look, but it also helps to weigh them down because these are relatively light. I'll be using Gorilla Glue to attach uh, the two, the tops and bottoms together uh, because I do not believe they can rotate. I don't believe they can handle hot glue. And then I found these uh, rhinestone uh, bling stickers. I found the bling stickers at Michael's and I thought they sort of mimicked the bottom of this. So I'm thinking of blinging these out to kind of mirror what's happening on the larger base. And the tulips I got from Michaels, they were on sale. These were $1.99 each and they were 50% off. So basically a dollar a bunch. Now I'm going to take my bling stickers and then I'm going to attach them. I'm going to attach a row around the bottom. Trying to decide how much space do I want in between, even though over there it looks like there's no space in between. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos.
Okay, so now I've got the stickers put on both jars. I started spacing the rhinestones on this one, but I looked at the vase that I'm mimicking and realized they were closer together. So I did this one closer together and I think I like this way better, but I couldn't get them off. So one's gonna have a little space in between and the other won't. I'll see which one I like the best. So now onto the next step. I'm gonna add um, the contact paper inside of these. Now that I've got the paper cut, I'm gonna peel the backing off of one of these contact papers. And again, the reason I'm going through all of this is because I do want it to be temporary. Because I'm sure I will be changing it out again come summer. And again, this whole theme and idea comes from the larger one. So let me do the larger one now. So you can see where I'm going with this. So I get that marble, so I can get that marble glass look. I think that's really pretty. Again, I like when glass is painted on the inside as opposed to the outside, and I think that's beautiful. Can't add the flowers just yet. We haven't finished these yet. Now I'm gonna fill these plastic champagne cups with sand. It's gonna help to weigh them down, and it's also gonna give me that white look in between that I want down inside without having to use paint. I have some sand left over from another project, so I'm going to use that. And then that will go on top of it just like that. That's perfect. I just need a little more sand though. This is where the Gorilla Super Glue is going to come in because, uh, again, these are plastic and I don't think that they can take that temperature from the hot glue gun. So this is the, uh, the Gorilla Super Glue. It bonds really quickly and it lasts. And I've added tulips. Again, I got these tulips from Michaels. I was gonna go with peonies, and as much as I love peonies, they really don't go with the decor in my kitchen. Um, so I decided I'd go with the tulips because then I can get a more a, a variety of colors.
And then I think I'm probably just going to add a little blue. That's a wrap. I hope you all enjoyed my spring DIY kitchen countertop centerpiece. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Leave me a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. At the end of this video, you'll see two more video links. Click one to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day. I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.